This wine bottle gift is something I've given to friends and family for years. When I wrap it up like this, it makes a beautiful presentation. Every time they say they just don't want to open it for a while, they want to look at it, it's so pretty. I'm going to show you all the supplies you need to put this together, and then I'm going to show you step by step how I put this beautiful wine bottle together. You can do this, and you can give wine gifts to your friends and family, and they are just going to love it. To make this beautiful wine bottle presentation, here are all the supplies you need. Your bottle of wine, some curling ribbon and a coordinating color. I'm using gold here because this bottle has some gold in it. You need some clear cellophane tape. This is not the magic tape, it's the clear cellophane tape that typically in the Scotch brand comes in the red box. Scissors, some shred, I have some gold mylar shred. And then the last thing you need is a roll of cellophane, and this is the 40 inch wide roll. You can get this at a craft store like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. My favorite place to buy it is from my local florist. I actually go in and order it from them. It comes in a nice big roll. Cellophane comes in either 30 inch or 40 inch rolls, and for the wine bottle you need the 40 inch. So first I'm going to set all the shred aside and the scissors and everything. So I just have my wine bottle and my cellophane. And I'm going to roll the cellophane out first. And normally I do this toward me, but since the camera's in front of me and I want you to see what I'm doing, I want you to have a good look. So the first thing I'm going to do is hold the cellophane up to make sure I have a few inches above the top of the bottle. And while I hold that with one hand, I'm going to pick up the roll with my other hand and unroll it till it's at about the same point as the part in my right hand. My left hand is holding the roll. So that's where I know I have to cut it. So then you just take your scissors, and it doesn't matter if it's an even cut or if it's a little uneven, that's okay. Sometimes if the scissors are nice and sharp, you can just scoop along. And then you're done with your cello. Now what I'm going to do, and this is optional, you can take a little bit of mylar shred and put it under the bottle. But play with it and see if you like it that way or if it's too much. Then hold up the short end of the cellophane and then pull in the side and you're going to be folding up the point and eventually you're going to be bunching it up right above the top of the bottle. You see how I'm just pulling in pieces? So I'm just above the bottle, and now I'm brushing it with my hands, and this is where the tape comes into play. And you might have to take several pieces of tape and wind it around. It depends on how long you like your tape. But sometimes if you cut one that's too long, it'll get bumped up on itself. And, and, and since this clear tape is the same clearness as the cellophane, you don't see it really. Okay, so now we're at this point. And we have these long pieces that are really a little too long as I look at it. And here's the fun part. You can take your scissors and just cut one cut down. See how I just cut to here? And I'm just going to pull it off. And then cut down again somewhere. Let's see. I do all the big ones first. And then pull it off, and it makes a nice V. It can just be kind of messy, and that's okay. So this one... I'm just cutting into the cellophane down once and I'm pulling off. And again, if there's some that just don't have to, I, I cut and pull off. Now here's a piece that's kind of straight, so I'm going to cut into it and pull it off. And then just take a look at it. Say, All right, is that what I want it to look like? If there's still some pieces that look a little too big, 
cut down and pull it off. And you have these nice V shapes that make these nice points. All right. And when it gets to where you want it, you're done with the sewings. So now what I like to do is take a coordinating curling ribbon. I found this thin kind. Um, I used to carry something that was a little thicker. I haven't been able to find it. And just a whole bunch. And just, you know what, have fun with this. So I cut a piece off. I might double it and bring it around the front. Of course, when you're working with this, make sure the front is facing you. And then you just want to um, tie it a couple times in a square knot so you get a tight fit. All right, that's just a start. And then you can cut more off. As much as you want. And you can double it up. Now watch, I'm going to just zigzag it in my hand. I still have closed loops on them, but I'm going to cut those in a minute. And again, it's harder to do this upside down. But when you're facing it, you can see it a lot better. And tie those on real well. Oops. Yep, you should do it when you know what you're doing here. Much easier forward. All right, one more loop I want to do. I've got a double ribbon here. If you wanted, you could put on some silver here. And then, if you're ready to cut some of these loops, here. If one's too long, you can just cut that off and then tie that on here in the front again. Just take two pieces and tie one on as extra. And then we're going to curl them just a little bit. just so I can see it for a moment, and then just start curling them, not too tightly, but tight enough so that they're not too dangling. If you find some that still aren't cut, just cut them. because you're doing this backwards. There's a long one. And I see another loop I want to cut. them I'm just going to do a little lighter and not so tight to mix in with and then if you want you can find the top of the bottle in here and you can take just a little bit of shred in there And if you can't quite get the top, just get as far as you can. Take a little bit of thread and poke it in there. And that's your bottle. 
makes a great presentation. I've given this to people so many times and they just want to look at it for a while before they open it.